Good morning. Good morning. A little over two hours ago, Sam asked me if I would do this. <laughs> and I said yes, and then realized, oh goodness, it's going to be on the internet forever. <laughs> so, but I'm here, and um, people who don't know me may not know that I'm one of the world's biggest procrastinators. So even if I'd had more notice, I may have been a little bit more prepared, but I would have still been doing this at the last minute. So um, I'm going to talk about helping hands. Um, many people say that I do everything at Washington Street, which is a total lie. So many people work so hard to make this church run and all our ministries here, our, our missions. So I am involved in several areas of the church. Teach two and three Sunday school, which meant I really only had an hour to work on this. Um, I'm involved with Mary's Maidens and Charles Pfeiffer Circle and enjoy working in the kitchen. And there's a lot of fellowship that goes on in the kitchen and we really missed it during the pandemic. And I'm involved in these groups and activities because someone invited or asked me to help or to participate. You don't have to be involved in many things or ways at Washington Street. Just one will do. And I remember years ago, um, some of you will remember Dunbar Godbold. And he was in, standing in the church office weeping about not doing enough for God. And I thought, if Dunbar's not doing enough because he visited prisoners, among the other things he did, there's no way I could possibly do enough for God. But God does, doesn't compare what one person does for him to another. He only wants us to love all of his children. And if we can do that by getting involved and using our hands, one hand can do a little bit, two can do more. But if everybody reaches out their hands to help, Washington Street will be a place that it is of love forever, and we can show God's love to the community. And go Gamecocks! <laughs>